everyone. So we are headed to Hills Creek State Park this weekend. It is a uh, obviously a state park that is right next to the house for us. Uh, we pick this park usually early in the year um, because we can knock the dust off from the winter, make sure we have everything in the camper that we need, and um, if we forget anything, we're not too far away. So um, it's still it's May 14th, and um, we picked this campground this particular weekend because we have uh, the kids have sports. So um, we're gonna go and unhook. That's why we drove separate. Uh, Missy's driving her car. We're gonna get there. Um, we're gonna set up, and then we have to go right back into town for baseball tonight. So uh, Hills Creek State Park. Obviously, it's a, a state park. You're gonna be looking for more nature-driven activities. Not as much, uh, you know, going. And, and having amusements there for the kids. So it's gonna be finding nature trails. There's a big, um, obviously big lake, uh, good fishing early in the year. It gets kind of weedy later, but um, we'll, we'll include all that in our walk around. So, uh, all right, well, we are running the camera on top of the camper right now to show the spillway. Um, believe it or not, we're already here. So <laughs> uh, we will, get set up and we will holler at you guys in a little bit. If you can see, guys, <laughs> the sun is out. It's our first video we've done in the sunshine. <laughs> and our winter coats aren't on. And our on. winter coats aren't on. <laughs> can you see Peanut? Hi. Hello. So we're at Hills Creek Lake this weekend. It's a state park. There's not a whole lot for the kids to do in the campground area. Um, so... 
we'll go get into that later but we're gonna take there is a nice trail that goes around the whole perimeter of the lake so that's gonna be our first adventure of the day see if we can make that trek <laughs> So we're about halfway around the lake right now. Um, just made it to this pretty cool bench. Uh, footpath only in Mid-State Trail. Hammond Lake gives you some markers for stuff in the area if you were to keep walking. Uh, kids are having a blast for this trail. <laughs> you can tell all they want to do is go back to the campground and play. play. So, but it's pretty I neat. I can handle it. how many miles this is or how far it is of a hike remember. but it is a gorgeous view um we've got about halfway i don't know are we even halfway? well not quite no <laughs> honestly not quite but it's a it's a real nice trail it's easy walking for the kids a couple little hills but yeah nothing too bad little we're down at the beaver dams <laughs> um boat launch one of two places to put your boat in um outside of the campground and then when if you're camping there's another boat launch uh, in the campground, so uh, we'll just keep going around and showing you what this trail's got to offer. Seen a lot of turtles, geese, uh, a lot of wildlife so far, so pretty neat. So we'll keep going around. around at the spillway side Mommy. and uh, Mommy. it's been a pretty good hike. I'll have to find out how long this is. It's a little longer than I expected it to be I think. <laughs> it's muddy too. And it's muddy. Oh, so yeah wear, wear the proper shoes for sure and expect to get your feet a little wet. Yeah. But um so it's here's fun. The, the kids are having fun. 
Here's the spillway behind us. This is the runoff, the overflow, if you will. And then there's um, an osprey and a nest right there. And then you got the dam, which is your entrance to the park. Mommy, and then you got the actual the lake behind us. Mommy, let's see if I can't make this one spillway. So we'll keep walking around. That's it. I think we got probably a couple more miles before we get back to camper, honestly. It's far. <laughs> Dad, what's your fire? I can throw this rock. Let's see it. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's people going down there fishing. Let's not throw any more rocks. Wow. Yeah, I kind of they, I have, they do have um, porta potties at each boat launch. That's right. Um, so if you have kids, it's nice because yeah. they can go to the bathroom. There's yep. Porta potties throughout the trail. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think it's just the stream. And we're like the same height. That'd be lovely. <laughs> All right, everyone. Welcome back to another campground review. This weekend, we're doing it outside because it's not snowing. Okay, so we are at Hills Creek State Park in Wellsboro, Pennsylvania this week. Um, we came on a Friday night, state Saturday, and it is now Sunday. So this is our first state park. So... State park review. State park review, right. So we took some notes for this one. We wanted to be a little bit more prepared. Kind of felt like we'd been winging it on some of these. <laughs> Just going to the playground and the beach. And the... So here are some structured notes to help us stay on track to go over our review of this Hills Creek State Park in Wellsboro, Pennsylvania. <laughs> this park was built in the 1950s. Right, you can't do that one. This park is 407 acres. Start over. The property. I will. Okay. Just, you don't have to cue me in. <laughs> Here, can you read that, babe? Okay. <laughs> okay. So we are at Hills Creek State Park. <laughs> it is in Wellsboro, Pennsylvania. <laughs> it was built in the 1950s. It is a 407 acre park <laughs> with a 137 acre lake. You sound like you're reading a book. You gotta stop. <laughs> Let me start. Okay. Okay, so we are at Hills Creek State Park in Wellsboro, Pennsylvania. We arrived Friday evening and it's now Sunday morning. Um, it's actually the first weekend we've had where we have not had to wear our winter coats, so it's been lovely. Uh, this place is just very peaceful and a very quiet park. Uh, with any state park, your, your sites are very spacious and wooded. It, they're just beautiful. Um, so we the lake well how big is the park the park is 407 acres okay and then the lake is 137 acres yep. it's a smaller lake but um there's a variety of pan of fish in here you got good bass uh panfish you got bluegills crappie perch pickerel carp it's a big uh, hot spot for people to come out and do some night fishing for carp uh bow fishing for carp um, it's also really popular in the winter for ice fisher. Um, yeah. It's one of the first lakes to freeze and the last lake to thaw, so it's a hot spot for, for ice fishing. Yep. Uh, it is a restricted lake as far as motor size goes. So if you come here, you won't be able to run your big motor, you'll have to run your electric uh, trolling, trolling motor. Trolling motors, yep. yep. Or kayak or, or canoe. And they do have kayak and canoe rentals here. Um, before you enter into the campground, um, there is a beach area that, where the kids can play. It's nice and sandy. And they have a concession stand where they also do canoe and kayak rentals. The concession stand is open from Memorial Day weekend until Labor Day weekend. Yep. So this weekend, we're kind of on our own, which is no, obviously no big deal, but um, you supply your own firewood and all that. So if you come to the park, there's nowhere in the park to buy firewood. Uh, but if you bring it in per the state regulations right now, uh, the firewood is supposed to be kiln dried. Um, there is several stands on the outside of the park where you can buy firewood on your way in uh, and within, I don't know, a mile. 
of the park. <laughs> Where were we at? I think we got through the lake. Okay, so let's do like... Some activities. I think we covered some of those, but... So they, they have a huge long list of organized activities that they do throughout the spring, um, summer, fall, and even in winter time, they have a winter fest weekend. Um, we will include the website. website, and we can probably include a list of the activities for this year. We'll see how organized it is. Yeah. Copy and paste it, yeah. Um, as far as the campground itself, there are four different loops. You have loop A, B, C, and D. Uh, loop A and Loop D, you are allowed to have pets in. Loop B and C, you are not. Yep, so I'm going to try to throw a map up on the screen when we do this so we can kind of guide you through their structure. Um, a and B, we feel, are going to be better for kids. It's yeah. closer to the water. Um, that's really what keeps our kids busy is um, you're on a pretty level ground for their bike riding. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all blacktop and you're close to the lake. Mm -hmm. um, and then also if you were to take a walk to the uh, playground, uh, which is one of our cons with this park, is that yeah. the playground is quite a hike up a hill to get to the beach concession yeah. playground area. The, the, yeah, the playground area is not in the campground, it's just before the campground. Um, and so they don't have any uh, playground area areas inside the, the campground. Camps. Yep. yep. So we feel like A and B are going to be your better spots for kids. Yes, and then loop C and D, if you want to just kind of get away and, and have nice quiet areas, mm -hmm. we would go up there. But yep. you are further away from the water up in C and D. Yep. Um, as far as water, um, most of these sites don't have water. Most of them are generally just electric. So mm -hmm. um, your A and B are full service that has septic in most of those sites. There's still not all of those not sites, but there's all in B, some of but them yes. have septic, but um, just be careful what you're getting if you wanted the full package. But um, C, there's a few electric sites up there, but most of that's dry camping, as well as D. I think there was nine electric sites in D. Mm -hmm. But there's plenty of places along. If you have a 50 foot hose, you can get water to fill your tank up yep. in the park. So you're gonna be fine there. And then there's a, a nice dump station on the yeah. way out. Dumping Real station is easy. easy and, yeah. you know, it's basically you just stop on your way out. Yep. So uh, we'll go through uh, that a little bit better when we get the map up on the screen, maybe highlight exactly where the loops are. Um, I don't know. We had a good weekend. It was We came here with friends, um, so that kept um, our kids busy. We were able to hang out outside and, and you know yeah a lot of the kids were playing together they got into a game of and, yep yeah riding bike and fishing yeah. so it was good um i would rate this it is a two day campground for, for yeah. us mm -hmm. no more we come because it's close and convenient and even if you know with sports going on we can still get to the campground so. yeah so friday night we came and sat up and then we had to go back into town hagen had a baseball game so it was really convenient um, yeah. for us just because it's right in our hometown. But. So we either come because it's convenient because of sports, you know, halfway into the season, or we like to come here first Yes. out in the spring to make sure we have everything put back in from winter, everything uh, that we need in there. Make sure everything's running yeah, smoothly with the, the camper. Off. Yep. Yep. So um, we did see... Uh, a pretty cool, I got a cool video of um, a goose that was nesting on a beaver hut, which was neat. We caught the, the eagle again. So we've seen an eagle every time out except for one. Yeah, every yeah. weekend. Since we've bought the Jayco Eagle, we have seen a bald eagle every single weekend yeah. except for one weekend. Jayco Eagle. <laughs> I think it's, it's like our, what do you call that? <laughs> Spirit animal. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, so we saw... We saw some rabbits, which is actually kind of unique anymore. This cycle and right now going on is um, more predators, less uh, rabbits. So we saw rabbits, we saw uh, osprey, we saw ducks and geese and loons, and we saw... Um, there is a, a lot. We didn't see any this weekend, but there are a lot of deer within the park that you can see as you're doing uh, one of their 
hiking trails. They have three hiking trails That's right. within the park. The one we did this weekend was the Lakeside Trail. It goes the entire way around the lake and it's about three miles long. Um, they have two other hiking trails. So back to that one, where appropriate footing. There's a lot of springs and runoffs where there's large Muddy. mud areas. So mm -hmm. don't, we wore our crops and sandals because it was like 60 degrees for the first time. <laughs> so wear your proper footing because there's a lot of springs that um, have a lot of wet spots. In that yeah, area. especially around the lake, yes. Well, be looking for those springs because we found one that cut out underneath a pine tree. So it's completely hollow. The stream was flowing under a 60 foot pine tree, which is pretty neat. So be looking out for the cutouts and stuff, but. Uh, be mindful of your shoes. Mm -hmm. And then the other two trails, I cut you off. Um, there is Yellow Birch Trail, which is one mile long. Yep. Um, that That's out in the woods. And then there's Tauscher's Trail, I believe. Yep. That's how it's pronounced. Yep. Um, and that's one and a half miles. All of the trails here are fairly easy. The Lakeside one does have some um, very in uphill inclines, but they're mild. Yeah, real mild. Yeah. And it's really just that one. I think it was like a 180 foot elevation change or yeah. something, but it's right to get over the swamp. They had to go kind of uphill a little bit, but yeah, um, it's a good getaway. It's a state park, so you know what you're getting into. There's mm -hmm. not going to be water slides and all that here, but uh, it is relaxing. You, you, it's good fishing um, until it gets later in the year. There is a lot, a lot of lily pads on this lake, so later in the year, you might not be able to cast as good from bank, but boat fishing is always good and early season is always good. So one thing that we would like to mention is um, they do have cabins, cottages, and yurts available for rental. Um, pretty good selection and uh, the location for these are a pretty good spot. The cabins are kind of by themselves uh, up in their own designated area up in here. And then the yurts are lakeside. You can look over the lake and then the cabins are kind of in the back cove. So it's pretty neat uh, that they do all this so you can stay there and uh, not have to worry about if you have a camper to bring or you know necessarily worry about sleeping in a tent. So that's definitely really nice. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, we enjoyed it. Another one that, you know, we, we obviously will come back to just for the convenience, but it's a nice, it was a nice relaxing weekend. It was good for the kids. They got out and enjoyed the good weather. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, another one on the list. Next weekend, we will be going to Knoebel's Mu Amusement Park and Campground, and that's in Eliasburg, Pennsylvania. Yep. So check that out. Yeah, very next excited. Weekend. Yeah. We actually just woke up and just. Yeah, just we had, next weekend we have that. open, so yeah. we decided to go there. Yeah, so we're going to go check out Knoebel's. So uh, continue to watch our videos. And thanks for subscribing. Yep, um, keep hitting that subscribe button. Yeah, so there's, <laughs> it's here somewhere, bottom or top. Just hit the thing and it'll do it. Thanks, guys. <laughs>